Hello, welcome to another tier list. Today we're going to be doing Marvel actors. Uh, so we will be rating them by performance. Um, not like necessarily their character. Like obviously everybody loves Iron Man. He's S tier. Um, I guess that's a bad example. Because Robert Downey Jr. is a really good actor too. But we'll see. It's mostly by performance. Not like character or power level or anything like that. So we'll get started here. So the first one is Tom Hiddleston. I love him. I think he's great as Loki. Um, that said, though, I haven't seen many of his other performances in other movies. So I'm just going to say he's good. He's definitely a great Loki. He's definitely good at what he does. Um, and I really love the character of Loki. He really, like brings the emotion to the character and stuff, but I don't know if he's S tier. This guy, I believe his name is Greg Clarkson or something. Either way, he plays Phil Coulson, or Agent Coulson for some. Um, he's in Thor, he's in, uh, I, I think it's Thor Straight to Avengers, but then he dies in Avengers, but then he's the main star of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I saw half of the first season of that, and he's a pretty good actor overall. Um, now, he did have a minor role in the MCU, but he did bring the Avengers together. Um, but I don't know if he's an amazing actor. I think he's going to go B. He's decent. He's pretty good. Alright, Elizabeth Olsen. I love her. I actually have not seen Doctor Strange 2 yet, just because the reviews weren't great, and I'm not much of a movie person, but I did see scenes with her, and she is amazing. She really brought it. She's grown into her character. I saw bits and pieces of WandaVision, and she has become a really great character, and she's a great actress. So the next one is Tom Holland. He's definitely really good. He's got some great roles. If you've seen In the... Uh, what is it? I think it's just called In the Heart of the Sea or something like that. The Moby Dick movie. He is really good in that. And the movie The Impossible, he did as a child. He was really good in that. Um, and as Spider-Man, he really grew on me. And by the time we got to No Way Home, like he was really good. Like, spoiler alert for No Way Home, but, like, when he lost Aunt May and he's all on his own and stuff and trying to deal with everything, that was, that was a tearjerker, honestly. He was really good. So I'm going to say S and better than Elizabeth Olsen here. Benedict Cumberbatch. I really like him. I like him as Doctor Strange. And if you've seen him in The Intimidation Game, He's really freaking good. I'd say almost better than her. Yeah, that seems right. Alright, Josh Broslin. He's another really good actor. I'm going to catch flack for this, but everybody really knows him from The Goonies. I've seen it because it's one of my mom's favorite movies, but I didn't really like it. But, I did see this movie called Only the Brave, where he plays a firefighter, and he was really freaking good in that. And the movie uh, Everest, very, very good in that as well. So, I'm going to say right there. Now, as Thanos, he's obviously a giant CGI purple man. Um, but, you did make you feel for Thanos a little bit every now and then. Um, I want to say Thanos is the most sympathetic character. Um, now, obviously, there's some merit to what he's doing. Um, and he did watch his planet Titan just die. So, he has his reasons, but I don't know. It doesn't really resonate with you much. Alright, Chris Pratt. I like Chris Pratt. 
I have seen Parks and Rec, and I really love him on there. Um, I've seen him do some serious roles and stuff. Like, obviously, the Jurassic World movies, I love them. They're pretty good. They do have their flaws. Um, I think he does his best in it. Like, obviously, he plays his character well. Um, I don't think his character just has very many dramatic moments, though. Um, like, they're really just running from dinosaurs, trying to save dinosaurs, that kind of stuff. Um, and I've seen bits and pieces of that movie Passenger. I didn't really like it, but he can do serious roles. But he does much better in his comedic roles, and obviously as Star-Lord. Like, it's very much so a comedic role, but I do like him, but I don't know if he's, like, an S-tier actor. He's really good, don't get me wrong, but so far, I don't think we've seen a lot of emotion from his characters. Like, obviously, when Gamora died and he was upset and stuff, like, that was pretty good. Um, but not amazing, I don't think. Like, it didn't really affect me, because I'm just like, oh, well, Thanos is going to kill his daughter, he's upset, but she'll probably be back somehow. Sebastian Stan, I love this guy. If you follow him on social media, he is hilarious. And if you've seen, like, the behind the scenes and stuff, he is just a gem. He seems like the sweetest dude ever. And I really love him. Um... And honestly, like, The Winter Soldier, Bits and Pieces of Civil War, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, he has some really good scenes. He's a really good actor. I'm going to put him up here, but I think right after Elizabeth Olsen. Alright, Karen Gillan. Maybe it's Gillian. I, I don't know. Um, but obviously she plays Nebula. Um... A long time ago, I guess, not super long ago, but long enough ago, she was on Doctor Who. Um, I can't remember the name of her character. I want to say Rose, but that might be wrong. But she was just okay. As Nebula, she's very kind of one note, just standoffish, kind of mean, um, robotic. Now, obviously, that's her character, not what. Karen's bringing to the role. Um, in terms of the role, I think she does it justice. She does it very well. Um, and I haven't seen many of her other things. So I'm going to put her just be yeah, just above him here. Top of B. Now Robert Downey Jr. Everybody freaking loves him. He is great. He's like the backbone of the MCU. Um, I've seen him in a lot of other stuff, like he can do comedic roles, Iron Man is comedic at times, uh, the movie Due Date, that's pretty funny, um, there's a movie The Judge, which is like a drama, and he's very good, so I'm gonna say he's up here. Now, obviously there's a time where he's on drugs and stuff, and... Went through a little bit of a dark patch, got a redemption as Iron Man, but he has really turned that around. He has made himself into, like, an amazing actor that I think is, like, renowned and loved by other actors. So I'm saying he's up there. He's, like, the best. Paul Bettany. He plays Vision. Um... Now, obviously, it's more so just the role of Vision. Obviously, very robotic and stuff. Um, but there's some emotion there. Age of Ultron and stuff. You see him come to life. Civil War, he gets a relationship with Scarlet Vision. I saw bits and pieces of WandaVision, and he's pretty good. Um, I think he's a good actor. I also saw Solo, where he plays... Don't remember the character's name, but he's a bad guy, um, and he was pretty good in that. I liked it. Dryden Voss, that's it. He plays Dryden Voss in Solo, um, and he's pretty good. 
but obviously the voice of Jarvis and uh, Vision, very robotic. There's not much to bring to the role, but he has to sit in the makeup chair for hours to do that. So I'm going to say right here, because Karen Gillen, she also has to do a lot of makeup for the role of Nebula. Um, but being the daughter of Thanos, there's a little bit more drama, a little bit more emotion. Um, so right here, I, I think that's a fair fit. Alright, Zoe Saldana. I remember being introduced to her in Star Trek, those Kelvin Timeline Chris Pine movies, and I love them. She's very good as Yehura. Um, and then in Avatar, which I don't like. I'm going to be honest, I hate the movie Avatar. I don't like the second one. But she's a pretty good actress. Um, and then as Gamora, it's very good. Um, her death, that was pretty traumatic. Um, so I think right here behind Tom Hiddleston is a good fit. Alright, Dave Batista plays Drax, very tough guy. Um, I actually just saw the movie A Knock at the Cabin, I think that's what it's called. Um, which I don't really want to spoil for you, but it's very good. I recommend it. I really liked it. Um, obviously he can play tough guy roles, but he can also do dramas very well. Um, so I am interested to see him in more. I want to put him, like, right here. Actually, right here. I think over the next couple of years, we're going to see him in a lot more things. And I'm excited to see that. Alright, Anthony Mackie. I've only ever really seen him as Falcon. Um, and then he's just okay. Now in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, he gets a lot more screen time. And I really did like him there. Um... I'm excited to see what the future holds for him. I think... I don't know if I'd put him in A, but definitely the top of B. I really, really liked him in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like I said, he was very good in it. Um, I think he's a good fit for the next Captain America. Obviously, the comic book stole Sam Wilson become Captain America. Um, so it's not the craziest thing. But I liked it. I didn't mind it. I thought he did very well. Um, I'd watch an Avengers movie with him as the next Captain America kind of leading the team or something. Alright, Bradley Cooper. I'm going to be honest, I hate Bradley Cooper. Now, he's done some good stuff. But I just don't like the guy. Like, just his face. He looks like the world's biggest a-hole, if you ask me. Um, now Rocket Raccoon, he really just does the voice. Sean Gunn does the CGI for it. The Hangover movies, it's just, it's comedy. It's copy-paste. There's three of them. It's just the same movie three times, pretty much. Um, now he did do that movie, I don't remember, but he plays, like, an American sniper, that's it. He plays a sniper with, like, a... Sad story and stuff. I have not seen it. I'm not a big fan of war movies or dramas. But I've heard it's very good. Um, so just for that, I'm going to say okay at best. I haven't seen it. But if it wasn't for that role, I'd say poor actor. Not much range there. Um, and then his other movies, I have no interest in seeing them. I don't like them. I'm sure he could be a great guy. I'm sure he could be a good actor, but I'm not interested in watching him at all. <sighs> I honestly don't know this lady's name, but she plays a Koye. Um, she's very good. I have not seen Black Panther 2 yet. Um, wasn't a big fan of the first one. But she's very good in it. Um, Civil War, she's in that. She's very good. Infinity War, she's very good. 
Shows up at the end of Endgame. Very good. Um, I might be wrong too, but she plays Michonne on The Walking Dead, I think. I only saw the first, like, three seasons of that. And then I got bored, but... She's pretty good from what I saw. I think, like, right about here fits. Um... And I think she's also in the Winter Soldier. I kind of remember from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, I know some of the Dorja Malaje, they show up like halfway through the series. And they have the shield and the new armor for him and stuff. And Bucky's new arm. Um, I think she shows up. I kind of remember. She's pretty good. I'd like to see more of her in the MCU. Um... I really haven't seen Black Panther 2, and I'm sure she shines in it. Like, the death of Chadwick Boseman, T'Challa. Um, I'm sure there's some reaction in the movie from her about that. Um, I should probably watch it. I'm sure she's really good in it. And it's... I do not remember this lady's name. I know it's French, um, but she plays Mantis in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. And other than that, I have not seen much of her in movies. Um, here, we'll look it up real quick. There, Palm... Lemon teeth. I might have pronounced that wrong, but she's pretty decent. Alright, Don Cheadle. I actually like him as Rhodey. I don't mind the recast. I think he's really good. I think he's better than Terrence Howard. I don't understand the full drama there of Iron Man and Iron Man 2 and the meaning behind the recast. Um, but we've seen Terrence Howard in that movie, not the movie, the series Empire. He's done pretty well for himself after that. Um, but I do think he'd be a lot more popular if he stayed in the role as Rhodey. So if there's a meaning of not enough money, maybe he should have taken the pay cut and stayed in them. And he'd be better off now. Who knows? One of those big what if questions, but I think he's very good. I really like him. I'm going to say right up here. I am looking forward to the uh, Armor Wars show with him. Now, I love the Armor Wars like story in the comic books. Um, very Tony Stark heavy. I'm going to be curious how they do it without him. Now, obviously, Rhodey's going to take the role and kind of go around looking for these people misusing Iron Man technology. Um, I think it's, it should be pretty good, you know, he's like, Tony's his best friend, he's now gone, Rhodey's kind of trying to keep his technology in check, trying to make sure that Tony's legacy is a good one still, and his technology's not being misused, obviously Tony's dead, he can't do it, um, so it should be fairly good, I'm excited for it, Vin Diesel, I hate him. I really do. I don't think he's a good actor. I think the Fast and Furious movies suck. I think he plays like one role, just tough guy. Um, now there's movies like The Pacifier. I saw as a kid he can do comedy. I like him in that. Um, I don't know if I've seen him in anything else. But I don't like him. I don't really care to see his other movies. Very one-note actor, just a tough guy. He plays Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy, but he doesn't do the CGI for it. At least, I don't think so. And then as far as roles and the talking, it's basically just I am Groot and variations of that. So, not amazing. Uh, I'm going to say here. I know there's fans of him in the Fast and Furious movies, but I don't like those. 
I, I am going to butcher the pronunciation of this one, but this is Lupita Nuago, I think, right? Nope, nope, I am wrong. That's the Nakia actress. I don't know. Either way, she plays Sherry. She's very good. I have not seen Black Panther 2. But I think you can expect good things from it and her. I'm going to say up here in A, right behind Loki. Yeah, that feels about right. All right, Chris Evans, pretty good. I like him. Played Johnny Storm back in the old Fantastic Four movies. Now, obviously, now he's Captain America. He's done some stuff like... Uh, what is it? Knife's Out. It's pretty good in that. Um, brings a lot of drama to the Captain America role. A lot of emotion. I like him. He's very good. I'm going to say right there. I'm going to stop trying to guess the names because I feel like I'm getting them wrong. But this guy, he plays Wong. I'm pretty sure his first name is Benedict something. I think it's a funny little thing that, like, he plays Wong, and Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Strange, and they're both named Benedict. Alright, we'll look it up, I guess. Yep, see? Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Wong, and his character's name is Wong. That is fantastic. I think he's pretty decent, though. We're seeing a lot more Wong in the MCU. Um, yeah, right about there. That seems about right. Alright, Idris Alba plays Hemdall. Um, I've seen him in a lot of other stuff, too. Now I've already touched on it, but Star Trek, he's in the new movies. Uh, he's in Star Trek Beyond, plays in the evil Klingon. Um, and I've seen him in a lot of other stuff, but he's a really good actor. Um, I think, like, right about here, that suits him. Alright, Peter Dinklage, really good actor. Um, now in the MCU, he plays Etri. It's like a, it's a dwarf, but it's like a funny dwarf because they're really tall. So he's still a dwarf, but he is humongous. Um, but then he also played uh, Trask in the X-Men movies. And he's pretty good. Now, obviously, a lot of people will know him from uh, Game of Thrones, where he plays Tyrion Lannister. Um, I did see the first season of that, and he was by far one of my favorite characters. I really liked him. Uh, now, some people also know him from Elf, and I don't know his character's name in Elf, but he is like the mean executive who gets very upset being called an elf um he's a very good actor i really like him i think he nails every role he does um yeah that suits him all right this is her last name is thompson i want to say teresa <laughs> Tessa Thompson. Alright, I was pretty darn close. But she plays Valkyrie. Pretty good. Um, so we see her in Thor Ragnarok. Um, I don't recall if she's in Infinity War. I don't think so. Does show up in Endgame. She was in Thor 4, which a lot of people did not like. Um... But she's really turned Valkyrie into a comedic role. Well, I wouldn't say it's her. It's more so the 
writers and the director and stuff. Um, but I do like Valkyrie in the movies more than I do in the comic books. So I'd say they have done justice to the character and made her better. Um, still a very comedic role. Now there's some drama there with the other Valkyrie being killed by Hela and she's the last one left. And now she drinks, but it's played to a comedic effect. Um, yeah, like right about here, I think. Alright, Kate Blanchett. She plays Hella. She's very good as Hella. Um, I also recently just saw her in the movie. I think it's called The Sky is Falling Down or something like that. <laughs> Oh, Lord of the Rings, she's Galadriel, uh, Galadriel, uh, really good in that, Indiana Jones, oh yeah, she's that one lady, I don't remember her name, but, like the evil German lady, um, I did see House with a Clock in its Wall, she's very good in that, I've heard this is very good. I've seen this. I don't know who she plays. Obviously more Lord of the Rings stuff. Dude, where is that movie? There's a recent movie with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill and some others. Don't look up. There we go, right here. This, she was really good in. Overall, I really liked that movie. I think she's pretty darn good. I think, like, right behind Don Cheadle's pretty good. Alright. Anthony Hopkins plays Odin. Um... Now, a lot of people will know him from Silence of the Lambs and the Hannibal Lecter movies. Very good. Um, he was also in one of the Transformers. Um, now, obviously, he's a good actor, but that movie was not very good. Um, I'm going to say, like, right here. Um, Alright, this is... James Spader, I think is his name. I recall him on The Office as one of the bosses that replaced Michael Scott, and people did not like him very much. Now he also voices Ultron in the MCU. Um, he's also on a show called Blacklist that I have heard good things about. So I'm going to say like right about here. Alright, this is Ter uh, Taylor Aaron Johnson, plays Quicksilver, sadly only in Age of Ultron. Um, very good actor, I like him. Recently cast as Craven in an upcoming movie, I'm looking forward to that, I think he'll do good. Um, he's in the new Bullet Train, that looks pretty good, I still have to watch that, but I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, he was also in the new Godzilla movie, and he was pretty darn good in that. Um, I'm going to say, like, right here. I think that fits. I'd watch more of his movies. I'd look forward to more. Alright, John Favreau. Now he plays Happy Hogan in the MCU. We've seen him in Spider-Man and Iron Man. Um... Probably in a couple of the Avengers movies. Endgame for sure. Um, I like him as Happy. Doesn't have much to do though. But uh, he's very good. Um, I've seen him in a lot of comedic roles. He also does a lot of directing. A lot of the Mandalorian show. That was him. Um, at least where he got creative control. And Disney didn't really step in. 
I really like him. I think as an actor, he's decent. I'd like to see him in more dramatic roles. Um, as in terms of directing, S tier. I love like everything he does. He did the Iron Man movies. He had some influence in the Spider Man movies. Um, Mandalorian. My, he's a good director. I like him. But in terms of acting, he really just does comedic roles and stuff. But he did have some emotional scenes in Spider-Man No Way Home and Endgame and stuff. So I am actually going to put him like right up here. I want to see more. I love him as a director. If this was directing, he'd be up here. But in terms of just performance, hey, let me know if you agree or disagree. But I think that's pretty fair. Jeff Bridges. Okay, so Jeff Bridges and the MCU. I don't remember who he played. Oh, you know Obadiah Stane, right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. He's Obadiah Stane, the villain of the first Iron Man. Yep. And obviously you saw some of his movies there, Big Lebowski, uh, The Giver, he's a very good actor, Hell or High Water, very good. I think that fits right about there. I might move Anthony Hopkins, like, right behind him. Yeah, that seems right. Alright, Chris Hemsworth. The first Thor was fairly serious, um, became more comedic as it went on. Um, also, in the new Star Trek movies, he plays Kirk's dad in the first movie. And at a time, there was rumors that the fourth movie would involve time travel and Chris Pine going back in time and meeting his dad as a younger man. And obviously, Chris Hemsworth would be his dad. Um, I did see some articles at the time on that that obviously Chris Hemsworth has become a uh, more prominent actor as time has gone on and the four movies came out when he did that first Star Trek he was fairly unknown so they wanted to pay him like less because of that but it was not enough for him based on what he does now which I think is fair I think they should pay him more, I think, with the draw of the Thor movies now, and his current roles, that if they were to pay him more because of that, I think they'd make the money back on it just because of Thor fans going to see him. Um, now, obviously, he's done other stuff outside of Star Trek and Thor, um, and I've seen some of that. There's a vacation movie he's in. He does comedy very well. There's a movie called, I think, Extraction or something like that. It's another one of those war movies. I have not seen it. Not a big fan of those types of movies. But he's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think right about here is pretty good. Maybe even top of A. Yeah. Right about there. All right, Mickey Rourke. He played um, he played Whiplash in Iron Man Two. I'm trying to think of his character's actual name though. It's Anton <sighs> something Russian sounding. But obviously, he's a very good actor. I don't think I've seen him in a lot of other stuff, but I don't watch a lot of drama stuff. Um, there's a boxing movie I've heard that's very good with him in it. I think right about there, that seems right though. Alright, this guy, I don't remember his name, but he played Justin Hammer. He did good in the role. I'm going to say yeah, just because I haven't seen him in anything else. Uh, there was a, uh, I wouldn't say a post credit scene, but there was like a video released after Iron Man 2 
that had Justin Hammer in prison and showed like what happened to him after that. Um, I did see that. Now obviously he just plays Justin Hammer again, but it was good. But I'd like to see more of him. I think he's supposed to be in the Armor Wars show with Don Cheadle coming up. So we could see more from him. Might move up this list, but for now I'm going to say C. Alright, this guy. He plays... Um, Altrich Killian in Iron Man 3. And I am blanking on his name, but I want to say Pierce something. But he was pretty good. I liked him. And I've seen him in other stuff like Memento, and he's very good. Um, like right here, I think. That's going to drive me nuts now. <laughs> Guy Pierce, that's his name. Very good though. Alright, this is. I have no idea who this is. From Civil War in the background there. I don't know who this is. I don't even know if this is an actor. I've seen some pictures of him, and he kind of reminds me of, uh, like, Hans Zimmer or James Horner. He might be a composer on the movies. Can I, like, let's do this little secret here. Boom, look at that. Come on, Google. William Hurt. That's William Hurt? What? Alright, that's a poor picture of him, but I know who William Hurt is now. Um, for those that don't know, he plays um, Thaddeus Ross, right? Dude, we just looked this up. How am I forgetting already? Yep, William Hurt sadly passed away, will be recast. Uh, yep, Harrison Ford's going to play him in the Captain America 4, uh, what is it, the first order of World War or something like that. Now, I am looking forward to this, I love him in The Fugitive, Indiana Jones, Han Solo, Call of the Wild. Uh, Air Force One, I, I think he's a good choice. He's not going to let you down. But it does stink what happened to William Hurt. New World Order, yep. This guy's going to be back. Hopefully, actually as the leader this time. That'll be cool. But anyhow, William Hurt, very good actor. Um... Look right behind Anthony Hopkins, I think. That fits. Alright, Hugo Weaving plays the Red Skull. Um, now, I heard he had an awful time on the cast of Captain America the Winter Soldier. I think a lot of that was just the time it took in the makeup chair to put on the prosthetics. Um, prosthetics. But, could be more. I don't know the full story. But he also plays V in V for Vendetta. And you don't really see his face at all. But he's very good in that. And he's done a lot of other stuff. Um, but he's very good. I'd say right about there. Also in Lord of the Rings with Kate Blanchett. He's very good in that. And I know those movies well. I know them decently. I... Uh, don't think I'm going to get his character's name right, though. But he plays, like, the leader of the elves. I want to say his name is... Ewan. <laughs> right? 
Nope. That's not it. Well, that didn't really help. But here he is. Elrond. Yep. I liked him in those, though. He's very good. Alright, this... I don't know who this is. Why do I not know who this guy is? Is he from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something? I don't really see all of that. But is this like the guy who plays Ghost Rider in it though? Dominic Cooper. So who did he play? Oh, you know what? He's the young, uh, Tony Stark's dad. Anthony Stark, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. And then he's in that, uh, Agent Carter show. I think he shows up again. Pretty good. Um, I think it's like, Two different guys that have played Anthony Stark, though. But I think he's the current one. This guy, I'm not going to get his name right, but he plays Armin Zola. And I've seen him in other things, and he's pretty good. I think, like, right about here. That fits. We'll learn his name real quick. I've seen him in other stuff. Don't remember his name though. Toby Jones. Alright, so what else is he in? Harry Potter. Who does he play in Harry Potter? Is he Peter Pettigrew? No, Chamber of the Secrets. Pettigrew wouldn't be in that. But who did he play? Doby. He's the voice of Doby? What? No way. Now, here we go, yeah. He's in uh, the new Jurassic World movie. He's one of the bad guys auctioning off the dinosaurs. Um, what else? Armazola shows up in the second one, too. Catching Fire. I don't remember who he is in that. He... Snow White and the Huntsman. I saw that a long time ago. What is this? A Christian Bale movie? I love Christian Bale. I'm gonna have to check that out. So he's the voice of Dobie, though. Huh. Cast. Claudius Temple. Claudius Templesmith. Alright, so he is one of these guys. So obviously I remember Stanley Tucci. Um, but I don't recall much of his character. I don't think he's very standout-ish. But alright. Cool. Yeah, so I think that fits. Alright, Haley Atwell. She plays Agent Carter. Um, we've seen a little bit more of her now. Um, she's really good in Captain America. I think, like, right here. That fits, I think. 
Natalie Portman. Love her. Now, obviously, I know her best from Star Wars. But she's done a ton of other stuff. She's also Jane Foster in Thor. Um, a lot of people did hate her in Thor 4. Mostly those lines were like, eat my hammer and stuff. But she's really good. I think that fits. Also in uh, V for Vendetta with Hugo Weaving. Um, Black Swan Mode 2, I think, right? No, I think I was right, right here. Brie Larson, a lot of people hate her. I actually liked her as Captain Marvel. Um, now, she has done things in the press and stuff that a lot of people dislike. Um, she's also in the first uh, 21 Jump Street movie. And I liked her in there. I think we're yet to see a lot of emotion from her character. But I think there's potential. I'm going to say like right here. I think that fits pretty well. I'm looking forward to more for us Captain Marvel, but uh, I think I'm a small majority here. Mark Ruffalo, really good as the Hulk. I think recast well. Uh, um, I've seen 13 going on 30 with him. And the Zodiac movie, where he plays a detective, really good in that. So outside of Hulk, really good. Um, I think that fits right behind Taylor Aaron Johnson there. Alright. I know this guy. Obviously he plays Dumbledore in the new uh, Fantastic Beasts movie. He played Watson in Sherlock Holmes. And his name starts with a J, and I can't think of it. His last name's an L, I think. Either way, he plays um, Jude Law. That's his name. Yep, he's really good. Um, I do like him quite a bit. He plays Yon Rock though in Captain Marvel. I think that fits. Maybe like right here. Alright, this is. I can't remember his name, but he plays Yondu and he's also Merle in The Walking Dead. Um. He's also in the new Suicide Squad, and I don't remember his character's name. But he's one of those actors who has it in cool with uh, James Gunn and appears in almost everything. But Michael Rooker, there you go. Really good. I like him as Yondu. Brings the emotion. And I do like him as Merle. I know his character's supposed to be like unlikable in The Walking Dead, but I liked him. Um, pretty good. I'd like to see more. I'm gonna put him like right here. Alright, this guy. I have no idea who this is. Lee Pace. So who does he play? <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Is he like Ronin or something? Yep. Alright, so he plays Ronin, but I have not seen him in anything else. I think Ronin's okay at best. We didn't see much of him. 
He's in Guardians. He's in uh, Captain Marvel for a little bit. But I think we have more to see of him. Alright, Tilda Swinton plays the Ancient One in Doctor Strange. Appears in some of the Avengers movies. <laughs> Pretty good. I think I right here fits. This guy, don't know his name, but he plays, um, he's the, he's a good guy in the first Doctor Strange, and then he becomes, like, a bad guy. He is Baron Mordo, yep. I thought he was really good in that. I think, like, right there. Now, am I wrong to think he's also in Star Wars? I might be. Alright, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Chowittle? Alright, I saw a little bit of 12 Years a Slave. Saw 2012, I do recall him in that. Saw a little bit of The Martian. Maleficent, I've seen that. I don't know who he plays though. Salt and the Four Brothers and Z for Zachariah are on my watch list. There's a Salt 2 coming out. Spider-Man. Does he like show up at the end or something? Oh, I think there's a trailer for Doctor Strange at the end of Spider-Man 3. And, uh, he's probably in that. But he's also in Spider-Man 3, like the Tobey Maguire one. At least that's what Google says, but who does he play? Still looking for him. Benedict Cumberbatch was in that too? What? I don't think that's right. Sometimes Google's wrong. I think it's wrong here. We're going to say it's wrong. But Salt 2 is getting added. This guy is Mads Mikkelsen, something like that. Plays a bad guy in Casino Royal, the James Bond movie. And he's Galen Erso in Star Wars. And then he plays Cassilius in Doctor Strange. He's really good. I think that fits. Alright, I am blanking on his name, but this is Doctor Who. He's the 10th Doctor. Um, he's also Barty Crouch Jr. in Harry Potter. This is David Tennant, right? Yep. Um, who does he play? He is the Purple Man in Jessica Jones, right? And I don't think he's in any of the movies at this point, but he was pretty good in that. And overall, he's good. I think right about here fits pretty well. Stanley. Well, that's not even obviously right here, right? Like, he created all of this. Acting chops alone. He gets the best roles, man. You love him. Alright, Paul Rudd. I love him. I've seen him in a lot of comedy stuff. Um, I am going to be fair here, though. I really love Paul Rudd. I would say he's S because I love him. But he only ever really does comedy roles. Now, we've seen a little bit of drama in those roles, 
but not a ton. I think he's good as Ant-Man. <sighs> Actually, I think like right here, that fits pretty well. Evangeline Lilly plays the Wasp. She's also in Lost and stuff. She gets a little bit more emotion and drama than Paul Rudd, though. She got some stuff with Hank and... I think, like, right here fits pretty well. Jeremy Renner, I actually just watched the Hawkeye series recently and liked it. But yeah, like I said, he plays Hawkeye. Um, he was also in the Bourne Legacy, the Bourne movies. Um, he's in the Hurt Locker and a ton of other stuff. I think when you give him a part, though, he nails it. Hawkeye doesn't get a ton of stuff, but when he does, it's fantastic. I think that fits. Michael Douglas. I love Michael Douglas. There's a movie called Falling Down, which is fantastic. And he also plays Hank Pym in the MCU. Like right here, I think. Alright, this is Michael Pena, I think is his name. Plays Luis in Ant-Man. We have yet to see more of him, but I've seen him in some other stuff, and he's pretty good. Um, I think that fits. This guy, I don't remember his name. But he plays Darren Cross in Ant-Man, and then he's also in the third Ant-Man movie, spoiler alert. Um, and he's in House of Cards, I believe, but I have not seen that. But I know if you're in it, you're a good actor. I think that fits. This lady, I don't know her name, but she played Ghost in Ant-Man 2. We have yet to see more of her, but we saw some emotion. Like right there fits. Scarlett Johansson, I actually don't really like her that much. Just as a person, really. But I do love the character of Black Widow. But I like her way more in the comic books than the movies. They changed her drastically in the movies. Like, comic book Black Widow versus movie Black Widow is a very stark difference. Like, comic book Black Widow would wipe the floor with movie Black Widow. And Scarlett Johansson's pretty good. Um, she's done a lot of stuff. <laughs> I can never spell her first name right. It's two T's or one T's. But Black Widow, just okay. I've heard this was pretty good, but I have not seen it. I have not seen this either. She was pretty good in Endgame. I think probably the best performance is Black Widow. Don John is on my watch list, but I haven't seen it yet. Ghost in the Shell was pretty controversial. Age of Ultron, she was okay in that, but they really kind of nerfed her in that. Made her all about, oh, I want kids, but I can't have kids, and I love Hulk, and oh. Like, that was very much so a Josh Whedon decision. Home Alone 3, I don't recall her in that. Sing and sing too. She obviously sings. Um, and she's a good singer. Avengers. <sighs> the Island. This is with uh, Owen McGregor, I believe. Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. Yep. And she was really good in that. Winter Soldier. 
Is she in Captain Marvel? I don't recall her being in that. In the prestige, she is in there. 